Hello you guys, so today we are going to analyze the game played between Azigal Sergey of Belarus versus the Pakistani star Koran Qureshi. Now Koran Qureshi is a state champion and Azigal Sergey doesn't need any introduction. He is a lead chess king and has conquered many things and won many tournaments. So let's just straightly dive into the game. So Kuran Qureshi has white pieces and Zigal Sergey has a black pieces. So, so the game uh, features Nimzo Indian classical variation. So we have d4, knight f6, uh, and c4, e6, and knight to c3, and bishop to b4, and the classical variation of queen to c2. Then we have castles, and you can play many moves here. b6 is a move, d5 is a move. And after knight f3, he goes for d5, and pawn takes, pawn takes, and then we have bishop to f4. That's how you actually play this classical variation, this is standard stuff. Then we have c5, and then we have e3, and then we have knight c6, and a3. Then we have queen to a5, and rook to c1, and pawn takes, queen takes, uh, queen takes, queen takes, and pawn takes. This all, this all have been played actually and then we have c4 and then we have knight to e5 and then we have bishop to f uh, bishop to f5 and after bishop to f5 zigal sergey has a winning position here but he blundered by taking knight but after queen, uh, bishop to e2 he blundered by taking the knight uh, instead of taking knight you can go uh, you can go to knight to a5 and if he castles you can just play a knight to uh, b3 and where the rook moves is going to get trapped because if you go there there is knight move to pick one of the rook and if you go like if you go like here the bishop move is sufficient or you can play on uh, knight moves to how are you how are you going to defend the pawn there is no way you can defend the pawn you have to play this move and you have to depart with the knight, uh, with the rook so that was in the position which uh, sir, uh, the color server game is. So we have knight takes, bishop takes, and knight to d uh, knight to d7, and bishop back to g3. Then we have knight uh, to b6, knight to b6, and then we have castles and rook f to e8, and then we have bishop to f3, and then rook a to c8. Then we have uh, rook, uh, rook to a1, and then we have bishop to d3, and then we have rook f to c1. And then we have a rook left on c6. Now you can go either way, but the bishop pairs are annoying if you try to go there. <coughs> and you have to keep the uh, eye on this pawn. So, because he's actually threatening this type of move. So, let's see. <coughs> we have uh, a4, and then we have a5. And then we have a uh, rook back to d1, and then we have f6. Then we have h4, and then we have uh, g6, and then we have bishop to f4, and then we have uh, king uh, king to f7, and the rest of the move is just uh, shuffling here because all of the moves are quite <coughs> uh, centered here. But here, here's a position which you all have to see. Now Kuran Qureshi has to find rook check and king 2, um, g2. He find rook check but after king move he just plays rook takes uh, to, rook takes c7 which was a big blunder. He has to play king to g2 and after that he knight moves to take the pawn. But uh, here he just took the pawn and after this he had a completely lo losing position. But there is some twist in the end. And then we have rook to e4, and then we have pawn takes, and then we have rook f3 check, then we have uh, king to g2, and then we have pawn takes on c3, then we have uh, rook to d1, and then we, have, then we have rook to e2 check, then we have rook to g1, and the king is on the last rank, and both of the rooks are on second and third rank. This has to be very much winning for the Gabo Sergei. Then we have rook to g3 check, then we have rook to f1, uh, king to f1, then we have rook g to g2 and then we have d5 and then we have rook gf to check and then we have rook, uh, king to g1 then we then we have rook to, uh, rook to g to check then we have king f1 again and then we have c3 and then we have rook to c7 and then we have c2 
and now you have to depart with one of the rook because if you just play like that this is almost sufficient for the winning um, almost pretty much sufficient after this move so so after check and here and this move we have rook, uh, rook h to e2 and then we have pawn takes and after this 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 the galgas are really lost some time and that's how we pakistani won the game so hope you like the analysis and see you soon